Yo, what's up guys? I'm back again with another video. This time guys, we're going to be working with the Meguiar's Hot Rims Chrome Wheel Cleaner. This stuff is special formulated for chrome wheels. Foam for deep cleaning. Dissolve stubborn brake dust and road grime. Alright. So this stuff retail at Walmart for like five dollars and eighty some cents, somewhere in that neighborhood, hood, hood. Okay. So we're gonna flip this around and we're gonna read the directions. By the fact, guys, I left this uh, wheel cover dirty. I let it get grimy, so you guys can see what the McGuire's Hot Rims Chrome Cleaner can do. Okay. So, let's spin it around here, and let's see what's good with it. We're going to read the direction a little bit. Okay, so rinse wheel thoroughly with water. Okay. Two is a clean one wheel at a time. Three, spray wheel and tire with product holding bottle six inches away. So, it says spray wheel and tire. Wait a maximum of 15 seconds to allow foaming cleaners. To penetrate and dissolve, build up. Do not allow product to dry. For heavy, heavy build up, agitate surface with a brush. Rinse thoroughly with water. Dry wheel with clean towel or premium microfiber. Okay. So what we're gonna do is the hub cap we're gonna be working with is chrome. I'm just, I'm just gonna take it and spray it a little bit, like they said, do with plain water. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to take this. Now I'm going to use the hot wheel and spray up there like this. Okay, so allow 15 seconds. Take it off. Okay, we'll count 15 seconds. We'll let it see what it dissolves. See sib coming down there. Okay, about 15 seconds. Now let's hit it. You could do this twice. It ain't gonna hurt nothing, guys. Smells pretty strong. Smells pretty good. It's kind of like a soapy scent. Okay. So what I'm gonna do now? Let's hit it again. It ain't gonna hurt nothing. Let's give it another blast. Here we go. It's a clean rim and your tire. On the directions, that's what it says. But it's saying here for chrome. <laughs> On the back, here it's saying allow 15 seconds. You know what I'm saying? Then it says spray wheel and tire with product holding ball of six to eight inches away. So. I guess this stuff is used for wheel and tire. I'm just going to let it kind of penetrate some more here. Meantime, let's get my ball all right. Get it ready to blast off here. Make that chrome bling bling. That's what you want. Let it penetrate in there. Guess it make that chrome bling, guys. Oh, you guys wanted to pop, pop. Come through this chrome sparkling. Your eyes be turning. Okay. So that should be 15 seconds long enough. Give a take. So let's hit it again, guys. Here we go. There we 
we go. The agitators need to be, but in my opinion, um, stuff is really, it's not really, really strong as the other one, the wheel tie cleaner. In my opinion, it's really as strong as that one. Nah, not quite. But it looks pretty good, as you can see. See, you pull anything off there. It's not really strong. You can actually just come behind and you know, hit it with something. Want to agitate it a little bit or something like this. It's got something in it, probably make that chrome pop a little bit, you know. This is good to use if you're going to use, um, I would say, chrome polish behind it. This will probably be good to use to take everything off it. Get the chrome ready, you know. That's my opinion of it. This is good to take all the, some of the road tar, some of the contaminants, some of the traffic film, and environmental fallouts. Just to take off tree sap. Um... It's probably good for that because this, you know, this stuff is specially formulated for chrome. So that's why I would say that this be good for that. But it looks pretty good. You guys can see that. Bring you guys in here. Cut it from my angle. You can see the ball reflecting really good in here. Not bad. But uh, this is not one of the stronger products in my opinion. But this would be one of the safer products to use. Especially, guys, you put on them expensive rims, um, you don't want nothing too strong. And I would say this Meguiar's Hot Rims Chrome Wheel Cleaner right here will be perfect. It will be exactly right for, you know, your chrome. It's not going to hurt it. It's safe. It's safe to use. I would say that make your chrome pop without, because, you know, you have to be careful when you're using a lot of acid-based cleaners like that. And when you're putting it on expensive, two, three thousand, five, whatever you pay, five, ten thousand dollar chrome rims, use an acid based cleaners, man. You gotta be careful around those because, you know, that joint might eat your chrome up. You don't want nothing too heavy, you know, on your rims. So this is just a hubcap. So I'm glad you guys can see this one. It's safe to use. It didn't even hurt this hubcap. So you can imagine it's not gonna bar your rims. All right. So I read all the directions out to you guys. You can pick this up for $5 and some change at your Walmart. And I hope you guys enjoy it, man. Y'all know I'm good for keeping something coming. All right. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Share my videos with your family and friends. And I hear guys for the record. I recommend you wet the rim. Wet whatever you're cleaning. Your car... If you're cleaning chrome hood caps, chrome wheels, I recommend it says on the ball of here you wet the rim down first and then you apply the product. But um, in case anybody said different, you know, the direction, I just follow the direction that's on the ball. All right? So, guys, take care, and I'll see y'all on the next video. Peace. The directions is on the ball, so wet the rim down first. All right? See you.